what is up everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel and today is a match preview with tomorrow's game in the FA Cup between Swindon and Stockport and this game will be played at Edgeley Park. So if you do enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe to the channel we're on the road to 750 subscribers and it will mean a lot if we do reach that. Anyway let's get into today's video. So these type of games FA Cup anything can happen is the magic of the FA Cup um, but I'm just going to mention it anyway. In the league right now, we've got eight wins, six draws, and f uh, three losses during the uh, 2022 23 season. And Stockport, on the other hand, they have managed to uh, pick up six wins, four draws, and seven losses during the season. So now, in terms of form, in our past five games, Swindon have managed to pick up 10 points in total, getting three wins, one draw, and one loss. And Stockport, on the other hand, their form has been absolutely amazing. So in the past five games, they have picked up uh, a total of 13 points. Absolutely outstanding for them. And in their past four games, they've not conceded a goal. So um, it depends how uh, us two teams take on this game tomorrow. But in my opinion, it's, it's going to be probably one of the hardest tests we have off the season. Because they're a very great side with very good form. So our last game was against Mansfield, which was away at one call at the one call stadium, and what a game it was! Probably one of the best performances of the season so far. Uh, and the, at, at the end, we managed to win five two in that game. So the game all started on the thirty seventh second when uh, we went one nil down, and then uh, Johnny Williams on the seventh minute got a reply. Then we went two one down. And then uh, Johnny Williams scored once again, and it was half time to all. Then uh, second half, oh, I can't remember the order now. I, 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 yeah, it was Luke Jeffcott with um, the third goal. Then it was Ronan Darcy with his um, absolutely amazing uh, shot. And then we had a penalty as our fifth goal, and it was from Ben Gladwin. And Stockport's last game was a 0 0 draw against Tramia. Um, I, I always find that whoever we're playing against their recent game was a 0-0 draw. I always find it. So a bit of history now for both clubs. I yes, us both teams have gone in uh, the whole history of the club. Uh, in the whole whole history of the club. Um, or how far we've got in the FA Cup. I've looked at us. Swindon, the furthest we have ever got was the semi-finals. Was... It was in 1902-03 season and in 1911-1912 season. And Stockport, the furthest they have ever got in the cup was in the fifth round, it, it, which was in 1939, 1949 and 2000. So, uh, I haven't mentioned this yet, but in the league table, we are fifth place, battling, battling to maybe even get the um, promotion automatic promotion spots i'm really hoping we do uh, get that because i don't want to go through another playoff uh, battle again especially after port vale so now i am going to pick out three players from both stockport and swindon to look out for to for tomorrow's game because um it's a it's an interesting uh, draw that we both got um it's going to be seriously close uh so yeah i'm just going to pick out three players from both swindon and stockport on uh who to watch out for Starting with Swindon, and the first player that I've gone for is Johnny Williams. Absolutely amazing form from him. The World Cup starts in uh, like like two weeks or so, and uh, let's just say he's completely ready for the World Cup. He's got some absolutely amazing form. Got two goals in his last game. Uh, couldn't get any better, really. Absolutely amazing. Second player that I want to mention is Jacob Wakelin. I think he's ranked like seventh in the whole league. I think it is. With the most goals involved, no, most goals involvements in the league with nine, I think it is. So uh, yeah, and he got two assists last game as well. So fair enough to him. And the final player that I uh, mentioned for Swindon, Ronan Darcy. I was saying that he loves his long shots, and there'll be a time where he will score a long shot goal. And uh, he done it last week against uh, Mansfield. Absolutely amazing goal. Hopefully he could do it uh, tomorrow because we need as many goals as possible to get to the next. So now we're on to Stockport. The first player that I want to mention is Paul Madden. Uh, we played against them last month, I think it was, and we uh, drew against them. He got a red card, I think. I think it was in that got a red card, and that's when they scored. And they're, they're, 
He's the current top scorer for Stockport with six goals. Second player that I want to I want to mention is Chris Hussey, former Swindon player who now plays for Stockport. He played for us in the 2017-18 season, getting 20 games, bagging one goal. And the final player that I want to mention is Anthony Sarkovic. He used to play for Bolton. Uh, I think he's a really outstanding player. I do think he's League One quality. Uh, fair enough that Stockport do have him, but I really do think he is League One quality. So far, he's got three goals this season. So, um, yeah, it's a definitely a player to look out for, to, for tomorrow because he is going to be a very good player. Guys, I am now going to be doing a predicted lineup. If you haven't watched my channel before, I always do a predicted lineup. So, if I was Scott Lindsay, who would I put on the pitch and why? Starting with the goalkeeper, I have gone for Sol Brin. Five clean sheets so far this season. He could make it a sit for this, uh, if he can get a clean sheet for tomorrow. So, let's see if he can get one tomorrow. So, left back have gone for Ellis Landolo. So he has replaced Fraser Blake Tracy for the time that he hurt his eye. Um, I have no clue if Fraser Blake Tracy will be back. I have no clue when he will be back. But, um, yeah, so for now, I have gone for uh, Ellis Landolo. So, for the centre-backs, I've gone for the same linker that we had, like, a few games ago. So, Baudry and Tom Clayton. Um, those two, I really do think, I think if we want to go to the next round, um, I, I just really think that we should have them two up uh, at the back. Right back, I've got Romeo Hutton. Uh, I, think he got an, I think he got an assist last game. Um, he has been on some good form as well. Uh, getting an assist against Hartlepool. Getting one against uh, Mansfield just there. No. Last week, if I'm correct. So, yeah. Centre mids, I have gone for Ben Gladwin. He got a penalty uh, last game, scored it. Um, we And I said, the second one I've gone for is Saidu Khan. He's really good as well. I am. Uh, I, I really hope he does score soon because he's an absolute outstanding player who deserves to get a goal or two. The final centre mid I have gone for is Ronan Darcy. He got a goal last game. Absolutely amazing. And if we want to score... Some outside shots, no outside the box shots. Uh, we're gonna need them. So left winger, I have gone for Johnny Williams. I is I have no clue if he'll be able to play tomorrow or not because the World Cup is coming up and I know that Wales will want to uh, rest him for then. But um, I have no clue. But I reckon Johnny Williams will start because we need him. Striker, I have gone for Luke Jeffcott. He got a goal as well. So uh, yeah, he's on some good form as well. And the final player I've gone for is. Jacob Wakelin, the most goal involvements for Swindon uh, this season, so hopefully he can carry on this form for tomorrow. So guys, now the predictor lineup is done. It's the final part of the video, my prediction, and um, it's going to be a very, very close game. We're, um, it, I know this don't matter, but in the league, we are fifth, they're 14th, but they've been on some great form, but serve so ways. But anyway, my prediction, I've gone for a 2-0 win for Swindon. I know this is a bit confident for us, but I have gone for a 2-0 win for Swindon with a goal from Ben Gladwin. I reckon it'll be a penalty, and I reckon it'll be a goal from Jacob Wakelin. Guys, that's the end of the video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 750 subscribers, and it'll mean a lot if we do get there. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. Let's hope we can uh, win tomorrow and uh, progress in the next round. And you know what to do? Chill.